Hey guys, Epsi here, and I'm going to be talking today about the Word of Crota, which I got out of the hard mode raid of Crota's End. And I was very excited about it, and wanted to do a video reviewing if it was actually worth it or not. So, quick review, this weapon has really great stability and handling with some awesome perks in high rate of fire. But is it really worth the low impact and range? So, how does this weapon play out in PvP? Well, not great. It's not terrible, but there's several better picks in PvP matches than this weapon. Often I find myself switching to other higher impact hand cannons and immediately finding myself playing better. So why is this? The impact. The word takes one extra shot on average to kill a target, which is usually the difference between winning or losing an exchange. The fire rate may seem to make up for it, but the higher impact weapons seem to get the kill in faster because they require less shots. Missing shots is still just as detrimental as it is for other hand cannons. Though this one is more forgiving in this way, it still lacks the impact to put down the targets fast. Further, it lacks the range of other higher impact hand cannons. With the changes coming to hand cannons and range stats in the future, the problem will only become larger. Please note the range can be upgraded, and if you're going to be playing in Crucible with this weapon, I strongly suggest taking that perk. Lastly, while its Phantom Gift perk is really nice in PvE, it's, I still think there are better perks, and you have to be very good in order to land all of those precision shots in Crucible. Zen Moment is pretty good, but the stability boost I still feel is insignificant enough to make it viable. So I'd stick to other higher impact hand cannons in Crucible, like Fatebringer, The Fall Would Probably Kill You, The Devil You Know, even The Devil You Don't if you really want to just masturbate with sandpaper, Lord High Fixer, or any of the exotic hand cannons. High rate of fire, low impact hand cannons just don't seem to have a place in Crucible or even PvE at the moment. So what about that PvE? Again, it's okay, it can one-shot most weaker targets, but it hits the same issue as in Crucible when you bring it into higher level content such as strikes or raids. It lacks that impact that you need to drop targets immediately. And with a magazine of 12 with a mediocre reload speed, which can be upgraded to be fair, and I do advise taking that perk in PvE, all those shots matter. Missing shots can prove fatal, and even if you get a shot on the target, it does not guarantee that the target will be stopped. Again, I find myself switching back to other hand cannons, specifically Fatebringer. Let's just look at the Abyss encounter in Crota's End. Yes, Word of Crota can one-shot Thralls, provided that you are getting headshots, but it can't kill them with a body shot. Sure, the Hive Disruptor perk is cool and might proc, but that's just the thing. Hive Disruptor has a chance of proccing. It doesn't chance every time, and that is a harsh mistress. Fatebringer, on the other hand, one-shots Thralls no matter where you hit them. And if it is a headshot, it has Firefly, which will briefly stun surrounding thralls. As well, it has the Outlaw perk, which increases reload speed after precision kills. You might think that the Phantom Gift on Word of Crota is, has great stability, but it compares nothing to reloading immediately. So my verdict on the Word of Crota is that it's by no means a terrible hand cannon, but if you have a better option available to you, to which there are several, you should use them instead. Word of Crota is a pass, I'm afraid. Don't feel bad if you don't get a drop on the hard mode raid, though it is an awesome trophy item. The only real use I see coming out of this weapon is in Void Burn Nightfalls. So, what do you guys think of the weapon? Please leave your comments down below. Do you think that I'm wrong? Why do you think I'm wrong? Please be constructive. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more content and go watch my other videos. I'm doing a strike series where I um, re or look at all the strikes and see what can be changed to make them more challenging. Please go check those out. And I did play control match against an unsuspecting Dado Does Destiny, so please go watch that as well. I've been Epsi, and I will see you next time.